Hey what's up guys in this video i am going to show you how to do spot color separation in photoshop for screen printing this is a vector artwork created in adobe illustrator you don't need to color separate vector designs in illustrator vector artwork or non vector artwork photoshop does a great job in doing color separations there are seven colors in this artwork red orange yellow green light blue dark blue and pink and we are going to color separate this vector artwork in photoshop this is the final result you can see all the colors are separated each color has its layer i'll zoom in you can see the edges of the artwork are crisp and clear though the artwork is color separated in photoshop and not in adobe illustrator you need to know the proper steps and settings in photoshop to do spot color separation which is what i'm going to show you in this video so let's dive right into the video I have opened the vector artwork in Adobe Illustrator. This artwork is downloaded from vectz.com. I have given the link to download in the description. Feel free to download the artwork if you like to follow along with me. Once you have downloaded and extracted the file, you can find a .tps file inside the folder. Open the .tps file in Illustrator. First, let's resize the artwork in Illustrator and then move to Photoshop to do color separation. I'll create a new artboard using the artboard tool. I'll change the artboard size to A4. Now, using the move tool, I'll move the artwork to the new artboard. I'll hit Ctrl plus R to bring out the rulers and right click on them and choose centimeters as the unit. The size of the artwork is 48 cm by 42 cm. Now, before changing the size, we need to expand the artwork by going to Object, Expand Appearance, and then again going to Object and then expand. This will expand all the strokes into objects if there is any. Now make sure the link icon is checked and set the width you want. I'll set 15 centimeters. The height value will change automatically proportionate to the width we entered. Now I'll move the artwork inside the artboard and delete the other artboard. Let's save the file to AA format by going to File and then Save As. I'll simply name it 7 Spot Color Artwork and then click Save. This will bring out the Save options. Just click OK and our file is saved. I'll switch to Photoshop and open the saved file in Photoshop by going to File and then Open. I'll choose the file. Since the file format is .ai, we will get this import PDF box. In this, make sure you have anti-aliasing turned off. This is very very important. If you don't turn off anti-aliasing, you will get blurred pixels in your artwork and the color separations will not be perfect. So it must be turned off. Next, set the resolution to 600 dpi. When the standard resolution for print is 300 dpi, why do we need to set 600 dpi? Well, the reason is we are converting a vector image into a raster image. Photoshop will transform all the vector data into pixel data. So if we need results like what we get in Adobe Illustrator, only with a high resolution we can achieve that in Photoshop. You can go as high as 1200 dpi, but 600 dpi works very well. Don't go below 450 dpi. If you do, then you will see a loss in the quality when you print out flim positives. Alright, so we have turned off anti-aliasing. Resolution is set to 600 dpi. We have already set the image size in Illustrator before bringing it into Photoshop. Don't change the size in Photoshop. Mode to RGB color and now click OK. Let's rename this layer to artwork. Now go to image and then choose canvas size. I'll change the units from centimeters to inches. Now let's increase the canvas size by 2 inches in width and 2 inches in height. This will increase the canvas size by 1 inch on all the 4 sides so that we have space to add registration marks later. Since this black color is a part of the t-shirt color, we need to delete this from the artwork. So I'll choose the magic eraser tool, in this make sure the contiguous is off, tolerance 32 and then click on the black color. This has removed the black color pixels in the artwork and we are good to go. Now make a new layer 
and then rename it to t-shirt color. Let's fill it with black color by going to edit, fill and then choose black from the drop down and then click OK. Now let's make a copy of the artwork layer by right clicking on it and then choosing the duplicate layer. I'll bring it to the top. Let's zoom in and check the artwork. You can see the edges of the artwork are crisp and clear. This is because we have turned off the anti-aliasing option when we imported the artwork. I'll zoom out. Let's separate the colors starting from lightest to the darkest. Yellow is the lightest color here. So make sure you have the artwork layer selected in the layers panel and then choose the magic wand tool. In the magic wand tools options, set the tolerance to a lower number like 10. Make sure you have anti-aliasing turned off and contiguous turned off. If the contiguous is turned on, the magic wand tool will only select the similar color pixels in the area where we click. It will not select all the similar color pixels in the artwork. In our artwork, if I click on the yellow color here, the magic wand has selected the yellow color pixels in only this portion of the artwork. It did not select all the yellow color pixels in the artwork. So I will now deselect this selection by going to select and choosing deselect. You can do the same using the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus D. Since we want to select all the yellow color pixels in the artwork, we need to turn off the contiguous option. So if we click on the yellow color now, we have selected all the yellow color pixels in the artwork with just a click. So to move the yellow color to a new layer, let's right click and then choose the layer via cut. This will cut the selected pixels and put them into a new layer. So we have separated all the yellow color pixels in the artwork without a single pixel missing and moved it to a new layer. Let's rename the layer 1 to yellow. Let's zoom in and check. I have zoomed in very close. The edges are so crisp and clear. This is not possible if you have anti-alias turned on. You won't notice any of the jagged edges you see here when printed because of the high resolution of this artwork. The result will be the same as what you get when you color separate it as a vector in Adobe Illustrator. Ok, now I'll zoom out. I'll hide the yellow layer. Select the artwork copy layer in the layers panel and turn it on. Now I'll repeat the same steps to select the orange color in the artwork. Layer via cut. Rename it to orange. The same way I'll select all the other colors and put them into their own layers. To make sure that we haven't missed any pixels in the artwork layer, hold the control key and click on the thumbnail of the artwork copy layer. This will make a selection of the pixels in that layer. So if we get this message, no pixels are selected, then that means the layer is empty and we have got all the color pixels separated. Let's click OK. Let's delete this layer. I'll turn on all the color layers and rearrange them starting from the lightest color to the darkest color. So the lightest color is yellow. Next is orange. Next is light blue. Next is dark blue, then green, then pink and then red. Since the colors in this artwork have space between them and are not touching one another, we don't need to trap the colors. Trapping is basically expanding the edges of the light colors a few pixels to go below the dark colors so that gaps don't show up when the colors are printed one by one and we also don't need accurate and tight registration in the printing press. Trapping helps a lot in the printing press to get a perfect print. 
Even if the colors are touching in one part of the artwork, then trapping is needed. If you want to know how to do trapping, then be sure to check out my video on trapping. I've given the link in the description. So we have our artwork color separated in Photoshop the right way. This when printed will have the same quality as what we get when we color separated in Illustrator. Let's save the file as PSD by going to file and then save. I'll choose save. I'll have the maximize compatibility turned on and click OK and save the file. Now let's change the colors to black for printing flim positives. First I'll make a duplicate of the document by going to image and duplicate. In this duplicated document, turn on the visibility of only the yellow color layer. Then select the layer. Now hold the control key and click on the thumbnail of the layer. This will make a selection of the pixels in that layer. Hit the D key to change the foreground and background colors to default. Now to fill this with the foreground color black, hit Alt plus backspace. The colors are now changed to black. Now let's deselect the selection using Ctrl plus D. Now the same way I'll change the orange color layer to black. Alt plus backspace. I'll repeat the same steps and change all the other color layers to black. Let's turn on the artwork layer and then turn on the colors one by one and then check. If you don't have the info panel in your workspace, bring out the info panel by going to window and choosing info. I already have it here. In the info panel, choose the first option to grayscale. Now I will turn on only the yellow layer and turn off all the other layers. Select the yellow layer and now hover the mouse over the black color. If the K value is 100, then the black is 100% black. This will print without any holes in it. Even if the value is 99%, the colors won't be solid and will have holes in it. So just make sure the black is 100% black. The same way I'll check the black color in all the other layers. Alright, we have converted the colors to black for printing out flim positives. Now the next step is to add the registration marks. I'll go to file, open and choose the registration mark file. If you have your own registration marks, open it. If you want to use my registration marks, I have given the link to download in the description. You can download it for free. If you feel my videos are helpful, you can pay whatever you like and get the file, which will motivate me to make more such videos. Now use the same import settings as before and click OK. Now let's use the move tool and move the registration mark to our document. We can close the registration mark document. The registration marks are imported as a new layer. Now use Ctrl plus A to select the canvas and use the alignment options to align it to the top and then to the center. Now duplicate the layer and use the align bottom to move it to the bottom. Now deselect the selection using Ctrl plus D. Let's group the registration mark layers. First choose the layers in the layers panel and right click and choose group from layers. I'll call it registration marks. Now choose the type tool. I'll type color 1 of 7 yellow. I'll align it properly with the registration mark. We need to make sure that the black color in the text layer is set to the darkest black. The RGB value should be 000. If you have the type option set to something else, change it to none.
to turn off the anti-aliasing in the text. Now, I'll duplicate the text layer and rename it to color 2 of 7 orange. The same way, I'll create the text layers for all the other colors. We don't need the t-shirt color and the artwork layer, so I'll delete them. I'll change the color mode to grayscale by going to image, mode and then grayscale. Don't merge the layers and then discard the color information. So we have changed our document mode to grayscale. Now if I were to print this out, I'll turn on the yellow color layer first, turn off all the other color layers. Turn on the registration marks and then turn the text layer for the yellow color. Print this out. To print orange, I'll turn on the orange color layer. Turn on the text for the orange color. Print it out. And the same way, I'll print all the other colors. If you want to know how to save the files as PDFs with the correct settings so that you can share them with others, I have made a separate video for that. Video link in the description make sure to watch the video. So that's it. In this video, I showed you how to do spot color separation in Photoshop for screen printing. If you have any doubts, leave a comment in the comment section and I'll be glad to help. Hope you find this video helpful. I'll see you in another video. Take care.